gonna start off basically just taking you through the chords and they mostly just repeat all over again until we get to the kind of chorusy kind of bit. So we're gonna start off with a D flat major chord. I've kept this in the original key that Demi Lovato sings it in as well. So we're gonna start with an F, an A flat, and a D flat, or you might know that as a C sharp. So that's D flat chord. That's the first one, so if you, you might wanna write that down then you can remember that. The second one we're gonna do is F minor, which is F, a flat and C. These three here. The next one we need to know is an A flat major chord which is A flat, C and E flat. So A flat, C and E flat. However you want to play that. I'll see if I can try and write these in the description bar underneath so you can easily refer to them. And pretty much the last one for the moment is going to be an E flat which is an E, a B flat, uh, sorry a G, a B flat and an E flat. So those three there. And how this puts together, we're gonna to start with the D flat chord. So I'm just gonna assume that you, you know what these chords are when I call them out. Like I say, I'll write them in the description bar underneath. So we've got D flat with an F in the right hand. Then we're gonna to change to that F minor chord and we're gonna play an A flat in the right hand. Then we're gonna go back to the D flat major chord and play an F in the left hand. And then we're going to play that A flat major chord in the right hand and go up to, in the left hand, sorry, and in the right hand go up to C. So that's the start. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the... Okay, then we're going to be moving... We're going to be doing an, a D flat chord in the left hand. Then move to an F minor. E flat chord. Back to what we did at the beginning. I just want to point out, um, actually, that if, if you want to change any of this, absolutely go ahead and do so. If you feel that I haven't done the right notes or the right chords or enough of this or enough of that, go ahead and change that. Just use this as a kind of blueprint. So you feel, you, you know, you do, you do whatever you feel what, that you want to do. Then we're back with the tune again. F minor. E flat. D flat chord, so it's just an E flat to an F, and then we're going to be going to an F minor chord again, and we're going to hit an A flat up here. Then we're going to do a D flat chord, a D flat chord, and an F in the right. A flat. Moving on, D flat chord, F minor chord. E flat, C, B flat, A, then we're kind of moving on to the chorus-ish where I pulse the chords. So I'm going to be starting with an A flat chord. Then all I'm going to do is add in um, a G flat or an F sharp. So now I'm doing four notes. G flat, A flat, C and E flat. So I'll just go from the chorus again. So when you do that A flat chord, if depending what finger you, that you're using, you might want to make sure that you have your fourth finger on the, on the A flat. Alternatively, if you want to do these chords in different inversions, for you guys that know what inversions mean, you, you obviously know what, what I'm talking about, but if you want to do it in different inversions, absolutely go ahead and do so. If you want to play A, A flat, C and E, that's fine. If you want to do E flat, A flat and C, absolutely, or C, E flat. It doesn't really matter. It's the same combination of notes with just a different one in the bottom, but you know, in the whole grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. This is just what I've chosen because I think it's just the easiest to keep the chords in this area here so that you're not having to jump around and everything. So when you do that A flat chord, you might want to make sure you've got your fourth finger or your kind of ring finger on the A flat so that you've got your little finger ready to play that G flat or F sharp to add in when you've got the A flat seven chord. It's called an A flat seven. 
you don't have to put that in actually, but... It kind of feels like it's missing something, but you don't have to put it in, so if you put it in... going to move is move the little finger from the F to an E, a natural. Back to A flat. C minor, which is a new chord. C, uh, sorry, a G, a C and an E flat. Back to D flat chord. minor which is everything the same but just moving the little finger to the little finger to the E. Let me just go back to the, the C minor chord. So that was just C, B flat, A flat, F just quickly. B flat A E natural Now for the fun part I like that a little bit So what you're going to do in the left hand is Just an A flat And, an, and a C That's it And you're just going to hold it In the right hand you're going to do E flat F A flat B flat C E flat. And then when you get to the F here, we're going to change to an F minor chord. So all you're going to do is just add in an F. So when you hit that F minor, we're going to hit a B minor chord, which is an F, a B flat, and a D flat. Back to D minor, E, A flat, D flat, E flat chord. And that was pretty much it, I just went back to the beginning. You know, there, there is a little bit more to this, um, there is like a little bridge part to this and then it goes back and, and repeats the, the verse and the chorus and that kind of thing again. Um, I generally tend to, I, I haven't put the bridge part in this, the chords are pretty much going to be the same if you want to kind of pick your way through them, it's probably just going to be using the same chords in some combination, but I haven't put that in otherwise it just makes this, this video, makes the tutorials just just too, too long, but you've got most of the song there, verse and chorus, so like I said if you want to go and do the bridge uh, and add that in, you know, why not try and see if you can do that yourself. So thanks for watching, um, don't forget to check underneath this video, there'll be a playlist to links of all the other videos I've done like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. 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 This one. <laughs>